Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the much asked for ombre freehand nail art with the stars and the jewels. Um, so today you will need your ombre brush, your dotting tool, your detailer nail art brush, and your striper nail art brush. You'll also be needing cotton candy and pale singer. Let it shine top coat. Black Betty and you may also need your Daisy Dust and a 180 buffer. Uh, you'll also need a couple of colour pops but you should only need one. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start by applying a layer of cotton candy over the whole nail. Okay, so once that's cured in your lamp, we're going to paint one side with cotton candy again and the other side with pearls of singer. Okay, so you're going to need your ombre brush now. Make sure it's nice and clean. And we're just going to use feather light touches all the way down that seam, blending it in. If you hold your brush quite flat to the nail and just almost tickling the surface. So really, really light touches. There's no need to be too heavy handed with this brush. first blended layer has cured we are going to do that all over again so again on with pearls of singer and then on with cotton candy on the other side now this has to be really worked well because this is your final ombre layer so make sure you're happy before you cure this layer again just tickle the surface just tickle that seam and just be really light with your movements with the brush keep the brush quite flat So once that final layer has cured in your lamp, we're going to go straight on with Let It Shine top coat now. Once that Let It Shine top coat has cured in your lamp, you need to cleanse that tacky layer and you need your 180-180 Magpie Buffer. We're using the spongy side here just to take the shine off that surface now this will give you a matte effect on any of your designs if that's what you're looking for and it's quite easy you just literally buff the surface with the 180 buffer and it will leave you with a lovely velvety soft smooth matte surface make sure you cleanse all of your dust off at the end and there you see it leaves you with a nice matte surface You'll need your striper brush now and you'll need to decant a little bit of Black Betty onto a palette or I've just put it on a little bit of foil here. So don't load up your brush too much, you'll need a really fine, fine line for this. So starting at the middle, you're going straight down and you're curving off to the side of the nail. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to draw another line now, just to the side of that. And that's going to be halfway down the nail, and it's going to be as straight as you can get it. Just as fine as the other one, but just try and keep it as straight as you can. Okay, so once you're happy with your lines, I'm just going to sharpen that one up. Once you're happy, that can go into the lamp to be cured. Once that's cured, you'll need your dotting tool. And we're just going to draw a few little dots randomly, wherever you think they look nice, but not too many. Okay, so once those dots are cured, you're going to need your detailer brush. And we're going to draw out your star shape. I'm doing a five pointed star because I think it looks better. But you can draw your stars whatever way you want uh, to up two triangles, one upside down, one right way up, whatever way you feel is the easiest but I just find doing all of these little lines and then joining it all up at the end is just the easiest way for me to draw a five pointed star. so when you're happy with your initial shape then you can start to colour in so just colour that star in with Black Betty okay so once that's cured in your lamp there'll still be a slight tacky layer on that black so what we're going to do now is use your detailer brush and your daisy dust and we're just going to put a little bit of stardust in the center of the star and a little bit of shine in the center of some of the dots not all of them so you only need a tiny tiny bit of daisy dust on the end and it should stick to the tacky layer and then I'm going to cure again for 30 seconds Okay, so once that's come out of the lamp after being in there for 30 seconds, that's just to hold the dust in place. Um, we are going to now put a pop a coat of Let It Shine over the top and cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, so once that's been in your lamp for 60 seconds, I will pop another coat of that on. So two coats of Let It Shine over the top. And then once it's come out the lamp, we will cleanse. And again, if you want the matte finish, you will need your 180 buffer. And you use the foam spongy side of the buffer to just take that shine off. That's why I recommend two coats really, because you don't want to start buffing your artwork off. You want to make sure that there's enough of the coating over the top so that if you buff it won't start to remove or scratch your design underneath.
So once you're happy with your buffing, cleanse the surface with some cleanser. And once that's dried, you'll be able to see if there's any shiny bits left. If there are, which I can see a couple, just take your buffer and go over those areas just to take that shine off. Okay, so once you've removed all of that shine, you need to dust off again, just give it a little cleanse over again, and then you're done. It's just a very easy way of creating that matte finish. And there you have it, you're finished, your finished design. Have a play around with it, try different colours, different effects, give it a go and I hope I've been an inspiration to you. I will see you next time. Bye!